So you want to know how to use Libra Sprite or A Sprite to create regular animations that aren't pixel. Welcome back, Touched by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Libra Sprite once again, taking a look at how to create uh, large scale animations in uh, a pixel animation program. So let's go ahead and get started and open up a new file. This new file is going to be really big. Uh, you can go with uh, 4K, but I'm going to just I'm going to do uh, well 25, 60, 1440. Yeah, why not? That's uh, that's 2K, uh, 1440. There we go, uh, and we'll just hit OK. Now you can see we have a huge, 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 huge canvas to work with. If I were to scroll in and do regular pixel art like we would normally do in Libra Sprite or A Sprite, you can see exactly how big this canvas really is. It's completely almost lost and gone. You can't even tell where it is. Let me go ahead and undo that. Let's pick a black color and then we'll turn the brush size up to like 10. Maybe that maybe that'll be enough. Yeah, 10 looks like it, it should be uh, enough. You can see how we have uh, that little bit of that little bit of jagged edge there on our on our pixels, which is nice, which is what we need. Uh, so we can do a little bit of animation. We can go ahead and actually sketch in a couple of things here. Um, we could draw a big old circle and uh, like something like that. Maybe a jaw for a face, something like that. Maybe uh, some shoulder, some some neck and a shoulder. Yeah, something like that. And you can see how we can do a uh, more regular type of animation by using the principles of Libra Sprite that I've uh, I've taught in the past by going down here. Let me open this up so we can grab it. There we go. And uh, down here is your layers and your animation tools. If you haven't seen my other uh, my other Libra Sprite animation tutorials, we can go ahead and new frame. And this new frame, we can go ahead and delete that cell. We can turn on onion skinning, and we can see the layer beneath it. So we can make our character move his head down a little bit, maybe something like this, uh, and then go all the way around. And I'll just create a couple of animation frames, and then I'll come back and uh, and show you exactly how uh, how how cool this really is. All right, guys. So I made a really, 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 really rough sketch of uh, Batman turning his head to the to the to, well to his right, our left. Really, really quick thing. Uh, and like I said, this is this can be used just to bang out a couple of rough uh, rough animation sketches. A lot of people ask me about uh, about animating regular sized uh, things in a sprite or Libra sprite, which I thought was which actually a pretty cool. Uh, was, a, was a pretty cool topic. So I can go ahead and add in a new layer under this so we can see this a bit easier than seeing that checkered background for the transparency. We go ahead and add in like a, just a solid uh, a solid white background and you can see if I were to go ahead and just duplicate these cells over and over again with Alt D. You can see we have a, just a really rough sketch which is really pretty which is really pretty cool to be able to do inside of a pixel art application. Just like I, like I said to get a couple ideas down get them uh, all uh, all out of your brain there so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one but until then bye bye